is a life I lead in this city. Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to talk about some books that are going to be fun to read for fall. Some of these I already read and I highly recommend and some I just can't wait to get to. And also I kind of want to go to my library today and explore what books they have, like physical books. And I do have some audio books as well. But yeah, I want to see what they have. First, let me start with the books that I just finished and these are going to get you on a very nice fall mood. <laughs> and so the first one is a Small Favors. This is by Erin Craig. First look at the cover. It's just so, so pretty. On this book, we are following Ellery and she is trying to discover the secrets on the woods on the small village that she lives on. And it's just so magical. It's going to put you on that. Uh, mode it's a little bit scary because you don't know what is happening you have that mystery but it's not like super scary like if you don't like scary books this is just perfect I just really like that small village setting and trying to figure out you know what is happening in the woods in there and then another one that i thought it was super super fun to read was the lost in the never woods this book we are following wendy this is like a retelling of peter pan and so she has no recollection though of ever meeting P peter pan before and her brothers were missing and then she's going into the woods to find out what happened to her brothers and also other missing missing children. Peter Pan comes back and he's trying to make her remember uh, what has happened and they're both trying to solve the mystery of the missing children. So it was super magical. I really loved it. I love the story and not super scary again and just gives you on that nice cozy fall mood. So another book that I've read that I think will be a really good fall read as well is The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue and this is by B.E. Schwab. So you have probably heard about this book before. So on this book we are following Adi and she has to make this deal with the devil in order to escape a situation she didn't want to be on. And so you can see throughout the book the appearance of the devil. The devil comes back every Every year to see if she is ready to give him his soul but she is so stubborn she is ready to continue fighting for her life so she had made this deal with the devil where she can live forever but no one can remember her so he's just waiting for her to be done with that and to finally give him his soul so he comes back year after year and it's just a so creepy uh, and so perfect I think to get you on that fall mood again without being a super scary book it just gives you, gives you the right amount of creepiness <laughs> and I just absolutely enjoyed this book this was amazing and so yeah so another one that I think it will be perfect for the fall and if you're looking for a more like scary book to get you on that scary fall mood, I recommend you read The Twisted Ones. And this is by T. Kingfisher. And this book was really creepy. I really loved how the narrator was writing the story. So on this book, Mouse goes to her grandma's house after she passes away. And she is supposed to clean the house, get it ready to sell. And her grandma was a hoarder so the house was a nightmare and also in the house she discovers this diary that used to belong to her step grandfather so then on this diary there are some weird things that have been happening in the woods and she doesn't pay much attention until these things start to happen to her and it just gets really creepy after that and just super scary his book literally gave me nightmares so <laughs> if you're looking for something really scary this is a one um that yeah i actually really love this book so now for the books that i want to add to my tbr the first two are these new ones that i just picked up so we have under the whispering door this is by tj kloon and horrid by katrina leno okay so this book i just picked up and I'm so excited to start reading it. This is by TJ Kloon, as you know, The House on the Surveillance Sea. I absolutely love that book. I thought it was magical and beautiful. Can't wait to read it. This is going to be like what I'm going to read today. In this book, we are following Wallace. And so he works in this office and he spends his whole life um, in the office. And he's actually really mean <laughs> to 
his employees and then he suddenly dies and after he dies he realizes he wants to build the life he never had he wants to build that home and i don't know i think this book is going to have a beautiful message it says hilarious haunting and kind under the whispering door is an uplifting story about life spent at the office and a death spent building a home sounds really magical there are some trigger warnings on this book about suicide and sudden death and it also deals a lot with loss and grief so anyway i think it's gonna be a super fun read as i just can't wait another book that i'm super excited to read is horrors by katrina leno look at this cover um so on this book we're following a mother and daughter and after the father passes away um they move from california to maine and they live in this big house and then one day the daughter discovers that there is a storage room that the mom has been keep keeping lock and then when she finally gets to it there is little girl's bedroom in there so that sounds super creepy and i think she also discovers that there's someone living there as well so yeah that sounds really scary <laughs> now of course it wouldn't be fall without some witches so i have some witches books that i want to get to so this one right here is the nature of witches and look at the cover this looks like fall but on this book we are following clara and so clara it's a witch and you can see how her powers are kind of depending on the season so they kind of uh, switch from like summer to spring and then I just think it's going to be really magical to learn about her powers, how she feels, and how it is to be a witch. This other book that I have is The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornich. In this book, we are following this witch named Argoda. And so she is basically punished by the gods for not following one of their requests. And so then she is going to use all her strength um to fight for the ones that she loves and i think it's a story of um fate survival strength and of course love and it sounds so beautiful next book is one that i am yet to read but it's on my list to read for september and it is the spells travel so this is by pc cast and christine cast so this book talks about these twin sisters that are both witches they're trying to discover their magic and they're supposed to be the keepers of the underworld and then their mother gets murdered and they're trying to discover what happened to her but in order to find out they have to fight these other bigger creatures that have more powers and they just don't know if they're ready yet to use their powers so i think this is going to be so magical it screams halloween fall mystery witches and what else can you ask for I'm super excited to read this book so another book that i have here that i think it's going to be a beautiful fall read um this one i don't think it's going to be scary but this is the wildwood whisper so on this book we're following two best friends and one of them puzzles away and and then the other one is trying to fulfill the promise that she did to her friend and goes into these mountains and then on the mountains she discovered these secrets and this magic okay so now i'm going to select some books from the ones that i already have and there's quite a few that i've been wanting to read so i'm going to kind of go over this so this is for your own good and this is by samantha downing and on this book we have this professor he is just so dedicated and want all his students to succeed and be really good and if they're not there's gonna be consequences so i think he kills his students or something like that it sounds really creepy and super fun so then this book right here is one that i have been wanting to read oh my goodness and i was actually waiting for the fall or for more like halloween and this is the library of the dead by t.l huju Another book that I recently discovered is 14 Days to Die. This is by Vincent Ralph. And so this is more like a young adult type of scary book. So on this book, we're following Jess. And when Jess was little, her mom was murdered by this serial killer. 
and as she grows up she kind of opens like a social media account and she does the whole vlogging documenting her life and then she realizes that this guy is now following her pile of books that I want to get to so this over here is The Ghost 3 by Christina Henry this is one of the newer books that I picked up recently as well and so on this book we're following Lauren and after two girls go disappearing in the woods she starts to have visions that this monster tree kind of dragged the girls and I just know it just looks so scary so creepy spooky and it's perfect it's exactly what i want <laughs> for the fall so another book that i want to get to is the year of the witching and this is by alexis henderson so on this book we're following emmanuel so after her mom passes away she receives the journal of her mom and as she starts reading into it she discovers her mom's secret and she must have like a relation with some witches and it sounds really interesting really love reading things that have to do with like secret diaries and discovering family secrets and it just sounds amazing so then i have here the house of hallows another book that i've been wanting to get to the cover is beautiful amazing and creepy at the same time so on this book we're following three sisters and the three sisters kind of disappear when they were little and they come back after a month but when they come back their um, features start to change like their face their eyes colors their hair and it's just weird <laughs> but nobody knows what happened to them when they become like teenagers one of the sisters disappears again so then we have the other two trying to remember uh, what happened so they can find the missing sister so then i have the cousins by karen mcmanus and so on this book we're following this group of cousins that go visit their grandma um after she calls them in she lives on this island and she is this millionaire but she does not have a relationship with her sons which are the parents of all these cousins and so in their intent to kind of reunite the family they all decide to go but they don't know that grandma has a surprise for them so it sounds so intriguing another family secrets type book another book that i think is going to be really spooky to read on the fall is we were never here by andrea bartz and so on this book we're following two friends that go backpacking to chile and they're camping and somehow and another backpacker ends up dead and then one of the friends starts suspecting of her of her other friend because there's just a lot of similar details on the way this backpacker died compared to last year's trip that also another backpacker ended up dying so she wants to know if her friend had anything to do with that and really like the mystery part of it like trying to discover if your best friend is a killer how cool is that especially when you're backpacking in a different country another book that i want to get to is in my dreams i hold a knife this is by ashley winstead and i've heard so many good reviews about this book and i can't wait to get into so this is another dark academia book where a group of friends come back to their school 10 years after they graduated high school for like a reunion and so when they were in high school one of their friends died and so some of the friends are still not ready to let go and want to find out what happened so when they go to this reunion they are just kind of i don't know suspecting of each other and i just can't wait it sounds really interesting and then of course i have some classics to add to my tbr and i have mr dracula here and jane Eyre. so these are two books that i have heard so much about i mean i've watched of course the story of dracula a thousand times um, but i never read the book so i'm super excited and these are the uh, penguin literature editions and i think they're just gorgeous look at this look at the back I just love it. When the cover is this beautiful, it just makes me want to pick up the book. And then same thing with Jane Eyre. So this is more of like a like a haunted house type of book. Honestly, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Look at the back. Gorgeous books, right? Those are the books that I have that I want to get to. And now I do want to go to my library and see what other books 
I can pick and I do have some audiobooks as well so I'm gonna go through those so the first book that I have is Behind Closed Doors and this is by B.A. Paris. This is one that I actually just finished as I am editing this video. love the thriller part of it and it's about this girl who marries the perfect man but of course um, it comes to a price and I highly recommend this book. So another book that I want to get to it's Malice and this is by Heather Walter and this is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty but more on to the villain's side of the story. So another magical read for the fall is going to be The Night Circus and this is by Erin Morgenstern and so this book talks about the circus that appears out of nowhere and it is just full of magic but also there's competition and duels and I'm just all in for the mystery of this circus. So another book that I want to get to is The Haunting of Hill House. This is by Shirley Jackson. And so this is going to be a very scary haunted house type book. There is a series on Netflix about it that I haven't got to yet because it's still scary for me. So hopefully after I read the book, I can watch the series. And I think that's going to be super fun. So these are the books that I want to reads for the fall so like i said i'm going to be picking and choosing from this list so i think i'm going to put all of those here on this card that way they're separated from the rest of the books okay so i put the books that i want to read now up here and then these are going to be the rest of the books that i want to read and then down here are the ones that i already read um and yeah i like how this is organized and so what i want to do next is go to the library and see if i can pick a couple more books and i think at this point i'm mainly looking for horror books like something really scary Hey guys, so I just got out of the library and let me show you which books I found. So I got Hush Little Baby and this is by B.H. Heron and this one seems to be kind of creepy. <laughs> so this book is about this girl who is basically escaping her family because her mom, I think it's a little bit crazy so <laughs> that one is the first one i got then i got the riley sager the last time i lie and so this one is about like i think a group of friends that go camping and something happens i don't know but i'm excited i love riley sager um books then i got hostage and this is by claire mcintosh and this one says you can save hundreds of life or you can save the one the mothers the most so seems kind of creepy and i'm excited and so the last book that i got is malice by heather walter and so this is a retelling of sleeping beauty i'm so glad they had it i almost bought this book the other day and so it's always nice to check with your library see if they have the books that you want before you buy them um but um so i also saw a couple of the books that i had on my tbr and i'm so surprised they had it because a lot of those were like new releases so there you go those are the books that i plan on reading i hope that you guys found some good selections from this list i'm super excited for fall and just can't wait and i hope that you guys are having a beautiful reading month and i'll see you on the next one